Hey everybody, Bungsy here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. Not so long ago, I introduced you to my recommended rain shell, the Versalite by Mont Bell. I'll throw a link up above in case you missed it. Well, recently, one of you guys asked if the jacket was really waterproof. Yeah, it's waterproof, of course. It's a rain jacket, plus it's never wetted out on me. Why would anyone bother to ask such a seemingly obvious question? Yet, something told me to take a closer look. So I went back to the Mont Bell website and I was very surprised by what I saw. So today, we're taking a closer look at whether the Versalite is really waterproof or not, shall we? Let's start at the top. First off, Mont Bell has the Versalite under its rain jackets tab, so yes, it's waterproof. Is it settled then? Not quite. Now let's take a look at the item's description. There we go, right up top, second sentence. It again refers to the jacket as a rain shell. You wouldn't call something a rain shell if it, if it wasn't water uh, rainproof, right? So again, yes, it's waterproof. Let's keep reading though. Quote, utilizing a gore windstopper garments with water resistance. I know, not exactly proper English, but whoa, water resistant, not waterproof? Not to mention, isn't wind stopper designed to stop wind as opposed to rain? Hence the name? What's going on here? I'm starting to have some doubts. Okay, I see Mont Bell has a rain wear guide. Let's take a look at that. This should clear, up, clear things up, right? Here's their graphic. The Versalite gets three and a half out of five stars and they have three models that are rated higher on the water resistance scale with the perfect five star score. So you ask me, Mont Bell is beginning to look like it's not exactly standing behind the rainproofness of the Versalite. Maybe my viewer is onto something, even though this jacket has never wetted out on me. By the way, when I originally purchased my first Versalite jacket, the website told a very different story. This was not at all the copy. Let's keep reading. It specifies that the material's water resistance, water pressure resistance score is over 30,000 mm's. What does that mean? Thanks, Mob Bell. Do you really expect us to know what that means? I'll say it again. You're leaving us with more questions and doubts about the worthiness of this jacket as a proper rain shell. I guess we're going to have to go elsewhere for the answer. So that's where Google comes in, doesn't it? Well, it turns out that a 30,000 millimeter score means that this jacket is guaranteed to be waterproof during extended pressure and even shallow submersion. Hell, they put fishing waders in this range. To put this in more context, material is considered rainproof between 1,000 and 5,000 millimeters, with the caveat being that significant pressure, think pounding rain, could result in the, in the water seeping through the material. And in the 5K to 20K range, it's waterproof unless it's under quote unquote considerable pressure. And once again, the Versalite is comfortably above even that th threshold at an impressive 30,000. And that's why it's waterproof enough for rain. And that's why it has never wetted out on me. Thanks, Mont Bell. Why couldn't you have said that in the beginning? So I thought I would just ask them. And here's what they said. I got this email back. Quite simply, it started with, this item is waterproof. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a case of poor translations from Japanese to English or poor marketing, or maybe the Mont Bell legal department telling the Mont Bell marketing department they need to be careful how they use the word waterproof. But the bottom line has been reached. As far as backpacking goes, yes, the Versalite is rainproof. Just quickly, while we're on the subject, as we saw, Mont Bell has three jackets that score higher for waterproofness. Why not just go with one of those? Well, here's the consideration. Besides being heavier, the jackets may not be as breathable or durable, and they, may, and they give up pit zips and other features. For extended hiking, no fabric, no matter how breathable, can uh, account for the amount of heat released through pit zips. This is why, in my books, the Versalite is the perfect rain shell. Well, that's all the time I need, and I hope I gave you something to think about. Please, as always, help me grow the show by hitting like and clicking on the Bungsy logo floating on the screen to subscribe. It helps me a ton. Thanks, and I'll catch you on my next Ultralight review on Ultralight Backpacking.